Potter's Journal some of the images on my garden pottery and sunflower and figs on my fig trees starting out this year okay let's see what's going on in the studio today Here are some of the same images on ceramic tile on, okay, in this case, uh, thick stepping stones made out of the pipe clay, Western PA, the deer. Um, I had a request for these things, so uh, here's the Talavera, a few pieces I collected years ago. These are handmade. Um, I um, got a request for some ceramic tile. <laughs> and uh, came from a real character. I wanted to show him uh, some of the pa patterns, the samples, even how a basket weave by putting one tile together you could come up with a pattern. Um, I'll do uh, next video some of the blue slipware painting. Um, okay. um, yeah, I wanted to uh, get him some samples because he just seemed to always be wanting to help me out and I say character because he claims to be a doctor a lawyer an architect and a master baker so um, at some point I'm thinking this helping me out thing is just more talk than anything else so we will get some samples made and um, maybe <laughs> sell some towel or at least hopefully yeah, shut him up and this will fit into all the odd spots in the kiln so um, we're not going to be yeah we'll fill up uh, some some you know formerly wasted space and, uh, make firing more efficient I will put a video up too at the end of this um, the uh, Talavera um, potters making the tile. They are completely handmade and hand rolled. At least the video I saw. I'll have to put a link up to another one of my videos, but this one is really well worth seeing. And I haven't been in the studio for a while, so there's still some things in the way here. I can't. Okay, haven't used this for a while, so we've got to. Make room. <laughs> all the pieces to get through the roller. How about that? So how about that? We didn't make it quite all the way to the end. I want this to be a little bit thinner. The what is a Brent slab roller? The way you adjust is by putting the boards on. Usually, I will leave most of the boards out and roll it one way, and then turn it and roll it the other way. So. Um, it, uh, we get any unevenness out of it. Okay, I am going to put this on a piece of board, cardboard actually, just to get it a slight fraction of a bit different, uh, thinner. Uh, give it another roll. So, this time only doing this one way. And we'll see if that put any unevenness into it. And if... Uh, that gives us problems down the road, whereas normally I'd yeah, roll this one way, make it thinner, and roll it the other way. Okay. Brent slab roller. Let's see, traveling knife. Something to measure with. Sponge to clean the edges. Um, hmm, if I put texture in the back to put them to the wall, but here, a straight edge. Um, get this started and let's see if I got the right amount to get two of these out of here um, I hope so. I'm gonna start with the top edge um, and yeah I questioned making towel that um, you know they're samples for somebody who wanted them they could be used as coasters um, it fill in empty spots in the kiln so that we have efficient firing um, if nothing else, <laughs> put a few of these in every kiln load over a number of years. If nothing else, you could tell the uh, 
sink backdrop in my own kitchen. Um, I am doing these at four and one half inches. I think the shrinkage will have this at the same size as the Talavera pieces. But um, question doing this a little bit, but um, hmm, wait a minute. Uh, one of those Goldmark artists does this, uh, Clive Bowens. And um, Picasso made ceramics. So, if nothing else, this also will help loosen up uh, the design skills. Um, on the cobalt ones, I'm going to be doing the same kind of thing that goes on the crocs and the jugs and the historic pieces, butter churn like pieces. So, um, it's a good place to. Yeah, work on the uh, the patterns. Okay, so I am just marking where to draw the lines. I um the the most incredible, <laughs> unbelievable. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four. Um, images I saw of doing this were the Talavera potters and um, I'd usually put a link I will put a link up to that at the end of this video usually I would put one to another of my videos but that was just so unbelievable um, not to be missed um, I um, look up videos on just about everything I'm doing when I try something new and I will have to say that I'm glad I did because there is a ceramic tile cutter, a punch, and after seeing it in use and seeing what a mess it made and how it wouldn't release the clay and left a rough edge, realized that this would be a lot faster and quicker and easier and cleaner than buying a device that is not going to even work. Okay, and you know what? I am just marking where the lines should be. I should be actually cutting them through now. By having this on the burlap, I can lift it and separate it fairly, fairly easy. I'm setting it on another board to dry. These have a texture on one side from the canvas, from the slab roller. Um, that might prove good in providing a texture on there for installation. Um, or something could be put on there since my guess is that these would be used mostly as coasters I'm not going to add anything and, and the Talavera pieces were smooth on the back I am then taking a sponge and going very lightly over the top corners um, I've noticed that I uh, see that this does change the shape a little bit that these don't fire and come out exactly even but I've noticed that even the Talavera pieces um, are not all square and do not come out even 
and when you see installations of them, that is what we admire in it, the uh, human element, the very natural. I want to show all the different loose slipware patterns you can put cobalt um, loosen up, practice here before I do it on the pots, but I also want to demonstrate some of the patterns. Uh, this by laying the same towel in different directions creates a basket weave and going the other way and um, some more of that okay and then going you know on an angle um, I you know, like that too and then I tried uh, taking doing the same thing with the tulip pattern and um, trying it in a number of different ways till I came up with ah, liking this one okay I've let these stiffen up for half a day and um, I've got some white slip that I just put through a sieve <laughs> but my sieves I've got um, two of them one's too thick and one or fine and one is too um, coarse but they are so expensive I haven't gone out to replace it or buy yeah like an 80 mesh one okay we'll start with the basket weave and that should be easy okay one way and the other and then when you alternate these laying them down it will read as a basket weave okay so now this is the fun part or <laughs> or this is the part I get nervous and anxious about. Which way is it? Well, I guess we'll see what comes out of it. So, I am making a swipe in a few different directions to fill this. That some of the brush mark will show through. And I'm going to use a green celadon like glaze over it. Some of the brushwork will show through. And where do we start? Let's just start with okay <laughs> a sun and he looks too much like a smile face let's see what we can do about that there we go some eyelashes a nose okay let's see I don't like that nose let's try to do that a little different there we go and um, Hmm, give him a bit of a chin, okay, a bit of a mean sun. And we'll move on to, I think the fish is the next easiest one. Oh, wow, okay. Um, some of these, I, actually, I just did a few more of these, so some of these are drier than others. So this one is actually more like Sgraffito, whereas the others, I believe it's called Combing. Okay, so fish, I think I've done him with water bubbles before. So, my English hair. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania whitetail, deer, and I didn't have a dog for a number of years, so they moved in quickly to the garden. But, um, Ralph's done a pretty good job. It actually took three years for him to convince them that it was no longer a safe garden to visit. <laughs> you can uh, we, I won't make you stop back today I'll reveal these today The it looks like I can't draw anymore with the rabbit I'm so used to the deer I'm so used to putting this on the side of pots this was entirely different okay so now the basket weave these are all the exact same 
pattern, but by putting them at a different angle, it reads as a basket weave. And I guess more so if we would do um, a big wall of them. Okay, my fish and the rooster. And okay, this guy will reveal in another video and future project. Normally, I would say stop back. We've revealed all that already, but stop back and we will do the slipware, uh, the cobalt brush tiles in the next video.